Let's talk about shoulder anatomy, specifically normal shoulder anatomy. There are three main bones in the shoulder, the clavicle or the collarbone, the scapula or the shoulder blade, and the humerus or the arm bone. What holds all these bones together are ligaments, specifically ligaments in the glenohumeral joint, which is the main part of the shoulder, or maybe the AC joint, which is the top part of the shoulder. When one has a problem with the ligaments, such as a tear in the front ligament, the shoulder dislocates or it pops out. If there's a tear in the ligament holding the clavicle to the acromion or to the scapula, one gets an AC joint injury. If we start adding layers to this, we start getting into the rotator cuff tendons and muscles. These muscles form a cuff of tissue around the shoulder that help to rotate the shoulder, and that's why they're called the rotator cuff tendons, rotator cuff muscles. On top of that, we have the deltoid muscle, which is that big muscle that one can feel on the outside part of the shoulder. And that is Shoulder Anatomy 101.